James for our midweek worship this week. Um, we've tried a few things differently because I managed not to bring the usual way I play the music, so hopefully it will work. And um, we may have uh, a short reflection rather than a longer one because uh, I've got something booked in oh, straight afterwards. So there we are. Anyhow, um, we're going to start with this call to worship. <coughs> Our story is part of God's story. Let's join together as the people of God and celebrate who we are in Christ, ready to share God's love with everyone we meet, knowing that each one of us is God's treasured possession. Living God, who walked among us, who moves in our area, we come to find our place in the bigger picture of your world, to make our story part of your history. May our lives entwine together as we draw closer to you. Amen. And our first song is I Am A New Creation. And for some reason it's decided to jump immediately from the beginning. Oh, 
of Matthew. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Jesus called his twelve disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. These are the names of the twelve apostles. First, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother, Andrew. James, son of Zebedee, and his brother, John. Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector. James, son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus. Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. As you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal the sick, raise the dead. Cleanse those who have leprosy. Drive out demons. Freely you have received. Freely give. Let's just pray. Dear Lord, we ask that as we think about your teaching, the teaching of Scripture, certainly help us in our own lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, Jesus said, uh, says that uh, he goes and looks at people and he says, you know, they're like lost sheep and they're without a shepherd. And then uh, the next uh, metaphor he uses is uh, the harvest is, is ripe. We need workers for the harvest field. I think Matthew probably took two different sayings of Jesus and put them next to each other because uh, uh, the sheep and the, and the uh, Harvest field are really not the same metaphor, are they at all? And then he sends out the disciples and uh, they go to the lost sheep of Israel. Uh, so they still have power in both metaphors, in the whole idea of they being people who need some help and the need for people to go and help them. Uh, they, they're true, even if the metaphors seem to be a bit uh, mixed around. But there is... Uh, even in our day and age, many people, many, many people who are living their lives like lost sheep, many people who uh, need some help and direction and need to know how God can help guide them, need the touch of love and compassion on their lives, need some wisdom, need someone to talk to. And we tend to, at times, exist in our society uh, with great loneliness and then institutionalized, institutionalized friendship where people go and find somebody who is a professional to talk to rather than the friendship of one another. And as the family of God, we have that opportunity to be those who reach out to others uh, by being a family of friendship, of being able to listen and spend time. And one of the greatest things that we can offer to someone is our time. And it's very easy for us to think we need to do something more but the ability to just give some time uh, to someone else is one of the most powerful and effective ways of being 
a help to lost sheep, a help to those who don't know where they're going, and also uh, of helping to uh, bring people to know God and then maybe for them to return into his friendship and want to follow him. So we pray that God may help us to know how to find time because we live in a very busy world. We have so many opportunities, so much to do, that we are often uh, unable to just stop and give people time because we think we've got to get this done or that done or the other done. But actually some of those things maybe aren't as important as we think they are. So we pray that God may help us to do that, help us to be those who are able to help those who are lost. And also that we pray that there may be more workers, more people who find that time within the church and beyond the church who, so that we can grow what God wants in this area and our churches and in the lives of those who really need a shepherd, need the touch of someone to guide and help them. We pray that God may help us with this. Amen. And we're going to have a song which asks of us the... Uh, to um, allow God to help us to be those who are more close to him and to purify my heart. I probably should have pressed that to go on to the that, and then I should press this to go on to the chorus. <laughs> Thank you. 
the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us admit our failures and weaknesses. Forgive us, Creator God, if our story is not as you want it to be, if it is marred or dishonest, if it is littered with mistakes, if it gives the wrong impression of who you are. Forgive us if our story does not really reveal the love, care and compassion you have for all people. Forgive us if our story stops people coming to know you or to find in you redemption, forgiveness and new life. Forgive us if our story doesn't express how much your story matters to us. As long as we live, may our stories be a vehicle for your never-ending love. Amen. Amen. The love our God has forgiven, redeemed and cleansed us. Assure us now that we are forgiven and released to move on into the next chapter of your history. Amen. Loving Lord, you call and equip us to serve you. Watch over those who risk their own safety by caring for oppressed believers. Strengthen and protect all those who are persecuted for sharing their faith in places where living out their Christian faith in peace is not allowed. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Loving Lord, you empower us to live out our discipleship. Give us wisdom, imagination and the strength to persevere when we feel apathetic or fearful as we seek to live out our lives in your way. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Loving Lord, you taught us to pray for those who abuse and hurt us. We pray for any who oppose or persecute those who hold different core values from our own. May they be touched by our way of living faith and their hearts be open to love, that all may find the wonder of your true love. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Amen. We pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Dad in heaven above, let everyone look up to you, and the area where you are in charge grow. May what you want happen on earth, as perfectly as it does in heaven. Please give to us what we need for today. Forgive us when we think or do wrong things, just as we don't hold it against those who hurt us. Guide us away from whatever we might want, but is unhelpful to us, and protect us from all that is nasty and destructive. For you are in charge of everything. You have the power to do it. And you are awesome. You always were. You are now. And always will be. Amen. 
So we're going to go a bit rocky with uh, our last song. Uh, you may have had been, I think some people have had, used this version before and be used to it. This is a song, an old hymn from the 30s. I don't think they played it this way. But I serve a risen Savior.
as we go from here, may we be full of your amazing story, wanting to share it with those we meet, so that lives may be transformed. Amen. And may your heart be at peace and your mind be at rest. May you be confident in who you are and share God's gifts of light, hope and grace with those you meet and those you pray for. And may the blessing of God fill your hearts with hope this day and evermore. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> 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 